So tonight I finally saw Kelly Reichardt's uh, newest film, Certain Women, and I thought it was just as great as everyone was saying. Um, uh, but what I connect with, why I think why I think I connect really well with some of Reichardt's films is is the way she captures sort of the ruralness of the American West, because I think we've got a lot of of uh, films about sort of rural New England and like rural South, but rural West, meaning like Montana, the Dakotas, Wyoming, and even Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Northern, Northern, above Sacramento, Northern California, and to some extent, um, like Nevada, Utah. That's, that's what I mean when I'm thinking the West. Um, once you get down to the Southwest, that's a whole nother kettle of fish. Um, but that kind of West is with the ranches and the, um, cold winters and, you know, four hour drives between cities and things is where I grew up. I grew up literally in the middle of nowhere, uh, with what you call a one stoplight town, except it didn't even have a stoplight. It had a flashing red yield sign, um, at two highways and it confused people who weren't from there. And Whenever I watch uh, some of Riker's films, like Wendy and Lucy, um, and very much so Meek's Cut Off, which looked like it could have been filmed in my backyard, um, and Certain Women, it reminds me of being home. It reminds me of that town. It reminds me of that type of ruralness, that type of isolation and insular living um, that I grew up with. And I think she captures it so beautifully. And I don't know that many people uh have done that before at least not in this medium i i haven't read the short stories that um it's based on by mel mel malloy but i'm guessing she must capture it as well um as what you get in reichardt's film is so resonant and so wonderful and so evocative of that ruralness um it's 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 just i love it um, because, you know, sometimes you really just want to see a reflection of, of what you know a place is like that maybe has not been shown. And, and I love that Riker is showing these places. Um, even Night Moves had that ruralness to it, to be honest. Um, because it was that Southern Oregon sort of place. Um, so I just, I think that's great. And this one in particular had these just knockout performances from Laura Dern, Kristen Stewart, Michelle Williams, and newcomer Lily Gladstone. Beautiful performances from interesting, tough women who are maybe a little bit lonely and trying different ways to overcome that loneliness, and maybe it's not all working. And they're not even, some of them aren't even trying to get over the loneliness, they're just trying to keep going and finding difficulty in the minutia of every day um like the the Michelle Williams story where it's just trying to navigate being in a family and you get a nice picture of what this family is probably like just from the way they interact with each other um and oh Renee Albert Jonas coming out of nowhere and just hitting you in the face with like what it's like to be an isolated senior in a place like that um, just great. And, uh, Jared Harris is also quite good in this film. I, when the film was over, I was talking to these ladies, um, because the lady, like, see, it seemed like she got the same sort of vibe from the movie and we were having a good time talking about it. And then she started talking about the Lily Gladstone character. This is a spoiler alert, except if you've seen the trailer. Um, and she was trying to say that the, that she wasn't a lesbian. And I was like, lady, what? She's so clearly a lesbian. And, it's very subtle, right? Um, it's just a subtle love story because that's that low keyness is what Riker does, right? Or it's unrequited love story. Um, but there's a moment where she grabs Kristen Stewart's scarf just a little bit, and if that's not the gayest thing I've seen all year, I don't know. Um, and the fact that these ladies just like wouldn't wouldn't see that. I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go now. I can't finish this conversation. So that was, that was fun. Um, 
So what I'm saying is the that sequence is super gay and you should enjoy it as such. I am looking forward to reading these short stories actually because they are these these little uh, sort of a triptych where they all um, sort of mesh together. You know, it's in the same universe and there's a few people who someone from the first ones in the second one, there's someone from the first ones in the third one, and so you know they're all sort of connected. Um, and then they sort of wrap everything up as, as much you can in sort of a slice of life kind of film. Uh, also in the film is James Legro, who has done several films with women. He's worked with Catherine Bigelow and, uh, Nicole Holofcener, and he's, he's one of those guys that's just always good. Like, he's the guy in Zodiac who the first time, um, Jake Gyllenhaal visits and he's like writing stuff down furiously and he's leaving and then this one guy goes, who is that? And uh, Ilya Kotaias goes, um, he thinks he's going to solve the Zodiac. And then he goes, oh, Catman. And then he goes, good for him. And it's like the best line delivery in the whole movie. It's my, it's literally my favorite moment in the whole movie. Um, thank you, James Andro. So, and he's so per perfect in this film. Um, yeah. And uh, on small, a small, uh, how small world places uh someone that i am sort of friends with is one of the costumers on this film so i saw her name in the credits shout out to caroline mccosker um good work so this was kelly reichert certain women uh, i think she's such a fantastic director i've now seen all of her films except she has three shorts that i need to track down but i've seen all her feature films i think she is a very distinctive director i think She's one of a handful of filmmakers that really has a distinct set style. And um, sort of like Lynch, if you don't like her style, you probably won't like her films uh, because they're all in that sort of same slow burn style. You should check this movie out. It is playing all over the place. IFC has put it out, so it'll probably be um, available for rent at some point soon. Kelly Riker's Certain Women.